it is inevitable that I should seem a rather remote figure to many of you. But now at least, for a few minutes, I welcome you into the peace of my own home. The world is changing, you're going to the 60s, but no one's prepared for what's about to happen. Margaret's so interested. She wants to change the monarchy. She believes that she'd be modernising all the time. The 60s represented a new period for Britain, and not just the war family. Britain has changed beyond recognition, and yet the monarchy continues its pre-war routines as though nothing has happened. So, what is it that you'd have me change? Everything. On the one hand, the monarchy has to move with the changing times. On the other hand, she's got to maintain her marriage. The rumours still haven't gone away. I think we both agree it can't go on like this. It's like any long-term marriage. There are always stresses and tensions. As with any relationship in good drama, it exposes you know the frailties and the difficulties. We linger on the things that hinder them. I hope my wife isn't uh, causing too much trouble. The second season really examines the journey for Prince Philip. We find out things about him that I don't think many people know, but also the character of Philip is center stage in a way that is new. I will earn their respect with the only thing those creatures understand. The Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. It's big and bold. It reflects the shifting times. But I cannot, cannot, it's swift. The government affects her, and she sees how deeply it affects the country. The Queen is tested in a very interesting way. She's faced with big dilemmas. I've been Queen barely ten years, and in that time, I've had three Prime Ministers. Not one has lasted the course. The outside world is really encroaching, and you can feel it, and it's not friendly. Season two is going to be a spectacular step forward, and I think people will be really surprised by it. Is it not possible that among all those problems, and all those things that are driving you mad, there are some of us who are there for you no matter what? If only.